Hi, I'm the Space Quest Historian, and welcome to a little extra video on Life is Strange. Um, someone in the uh, Twitch chat uh, suggested that uh, maybe I should show what happens if you decide to not uh, sacrifice Chloe and then keep the rest of Arcadia Bay. What happens if you actually just sacrifice all of Arcadia Bay? Just give it the finger and let Chloe live, which he's obviously not supposed to. I mean, it is quite clearly that, uh, it's quite clear that Chloe is the problem in all of this. You saved her from dying at the start of episode one, and everything's just been going to shit since then, so... Chloe, clearly, it's clearly the right ending to let her just snuff it. But, what happens if you don't? Max! Max, can you hear me? So, we're can back here at the cliff. If you haven't watched the rest of, uh, the Life I'm is Strange playthrough out. series and, uh, the streams, this will be all be don't very confusing. Again, okay? But, um... Anyway, we're up here on the cliffside, and this so giant tornado is threatening to so kill horrible. everyone in town. We just come back from a very trippy sort of uh, personal crisis kind of mental anguish thing. Look at that thing, it's very nice. It's um, having a whale of a time. Haha, <laughs> two whales. But um, yeah, that reference will only make sense if you've watched the, um, the stream. My storm. By the way, this entire yeah, scene is unskippable, so... Um, I'm sitting through all of this again. I'm gonna cut this in just a second to so just, you know, get right you, to the end of it. Long story short, Chloe realizes she's actually the cause of this right for not dying. And Max goes, oh hell no, oh, I'm not sacrificing you. And then, in the canon ending, does anyway. But um, <laughs> now we're just going to, uh, no. you know, let no, the timeline go absolutely haywire, keep Chloe alive, her. and let the rest of Arcadia babe die in a huge tornado. I know. You proved that over. My stepfather deserves her alive. Interesting that that's the first There's time so Chloe says stepfather instead of step douche, step Nazi, step fucker, step... I won't trade you. So this is actually Chloe's redemption me. moment, and Max Maybe is Max has been on this uh, you know, growing up uh, cycle path all the way through the game, just starting out from absolutely meek and nothing, and coming up to uh, an independent person me. who's more assertive, and know, it all kind of falls apart at the end because then she's just I like, oh fuck no. Uh, Chloe's actually the one who finally realizes what needs to be done, and drags Max kicking and screaming towards the uh, correct decision. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. By a long, long way, but incidentally. Trying to emote. Oh, bugger. Well, here we go. Sacrifice Chloe or sacrifice Arcadia Bay. We did the right thing during the stream. We sacrificed Chloe, which is what you're supposed to do. But let's just go with the utterly, utterly wrong option. Max, it's time. Hell no, it isn't. And then she chucks herself off of uh, the cliff. Me. Nope. There we go. Screw that. Screw the timeline. Screw causality. Screw everyone. Everyone in Arcadia Bay can fuck off and die. I'm a bee with Chloe. Because she Max. is relationship material. I'll always be with you. Holy shit, yes. Not impulsive, not impertinent, not... Oh. Bye-bye, everyone. I know you didn't deserve this. I know this is all technically her fault. She Max is now technically a mass murderer. But at least she found love. Oh, there goes someone's house. Oh, there goes someone's legs. It was torn off in the explosion. And we've seen the devastation firsthand. We had to move through to get to the diner, and everyone was huddled, and uh, buildings were falling apart, and uh, we even spent time rescuing some people, like getting uh, Alyssa down from, uh, like, a second story, and, uh, you know, a trucker who was buried under his truck, and... All of that means nothing. Here we go. Bye-bye, everyone. Just fly off into uh, the storm. Yeah, I think someone needs a hug. You filthy, filthy murderer. Uh, Chloe's kind of into this. Uh, look at that. Wow, look at the houses. They can fly. Later that day. 
We're just gonna take a tour to, like, have a look at the, uh, utter, utter chaotic destruction that we've caused. <laughs> at least the press cuts are not gonna be able to build any more shit. Yeah, <laughs> die. Instead of diner, it says die. That is, uh, awfully on the nose. But hey, look at the deer. Now, uh, again, uh, the symbolism is kind of lost here because there are several deer. Or maybe the symbolism is doing quite well and I'm just not getting it. Again, the ghost deer being Rachel's spirit animal, the one that was guiding us the whole time. And yeah, we're just taking a scenic drive through the utter devastation that we caused. Time is probably going to unravel itself. There's, there's not gonna be... I mean, we've, we've traveled through so many different uh, time loops and shit, and uh, uh, everything's just gone to absolute shit, so... I think this is gonna be a very short ride. It's probably gonna be, like, a bit of nosebleed, and then Max does a full-on scanner head, and their head just explodes. Um, but, um... At least they'll be happy for a short while. I mean, look at her. Doesn't she look happy? She looks fucking thrilled. Oh, now she does. And as the acoustic indie music winds down, we drive off into the sunset or whatever, having had our fill of corpses littered across the street. Actually, there weren't that many corpses, but I would imagine there had to be a lot of them. Uh, and off into the unknown. This is clearly the bad ending. <laughs> Even though they're together, uh, they're not meant to. And we, in fact, had to... We, it's, that's why I keep comparing it to Donnie Darko. We spent the entire uh, game trying to get Chloe out of trouble when, in fact, she was trouble incarnate. It was actually us uh, saving her that led to all of the mayhem and badness in the first place. So, um... <laughs> the narrative assistant is named Fux. Oh well, cool. Uh, anyway, thank you for watching this little uh, this little wrap up. I've uh, kind of felt like it maybe cheated you out of the alternate ending, um, even though it's not much of an ending. I feel, but uh, anyway, there it is. That's what happens. Interestingly, though, we did get the smooch ending uh, when we picked the right ending in the stream in the last episode. Uh, this time, the ending cinematic, they just you know, look at each other and just drive off. And I have a feeling that's the same FMV that's used regardless of what romantic choices you've made during the game. So uh, it's not only the bad ending, it's also a disappointing ending. I remember reading that, uh, or no, sorry, watching that analysis video um, where it was argued that the ending here was just like a flat, like almost a cop-out, like it was just a drive-off, we don't really want to do this ending, we just have to because, you know, player choice and all that, and they just did a stock ending and um, off you fuck, that is it. So, oh well, cool, that was it. You decided to sacrifice Arcadia Bay. That I did. That was not a good thing. Oh well. Thank you for watching, and uh, please, like, subscribe, do whatever you kids do, and do check out the uh, live streams that are happening every Sunday over on twitch.tv slash spacequesthistorian. We're having a ton of fun over there. We played, uh, when we played this, you know, I kept asking the um, participants, uh, wh what do you think we should do next? What uh, choices should we do? We I even had them pick the choice at the end, and everyone agreed we should uh, kill Glowy off and save the rest of Arcadia Bay as we were supposed to. Um, so uh, that's a lot of fun. I'm going to start uh, Dark Side Detective uh, on Sunday, which is a game I'm very much looking forward to play. And uh, until such time, I will see you around the Chrono Street. Bye.